Over the years, you may have noticed stories we've done with Dr. Michael Sevilla out of Salem. He's one of the doctors we call when we need a medical expert. Uh, today, he shared a personal story with us in connection to Brain Cancer Awareness Month. First News reporter Jacob Thompson has the details. I sat down with Dr. Mike Savella inside the lobby of the Family Practice Center of Salem, where we talked about his dad, Dr. Lito Savella. A lot of positive energy, um, and, and he always uh, liked to bring the life to the life to the party. He was really, really fun, fun to be around. A first-generation immigrant from the Philippines coming to the states for a better life. Dr. Lito Savella worked as an ear, nose, and throat specialist for 30 years in Youngstown. Growing up, Dr. Mike Savella saw the impact his father was having. A lot of his patients would, would tell me as a young child, hey, you should be proud of your dad. He's, he's really doing good work here in Youngstown, and, and we're glad that he's part of the community. You know, in, in my head when I was a kid, you know, I thought he was you know, some kind of superhero. Jump ahead to 2020, his dad was starting to not feel well right after the pandemic hit. Symptoms like double vision, dizziness, and headache. Initially, doctors couldn't figure out what was wrong. It wasn't until the end of the summer they learned he developed stage 4 brain cancer. We were told that, you know, it was the, the type of brain cancer that in adults that we really can't do much with. It was already spread too much. The decision was made shortly after to keep Dr. Lito Sevilla at home and let nature take its course so family could be with him, passing two days before his birthday in November. I, unfortunately, as a doctor, you know, I, I've seen a lot of, um, you know, end of life type of cases, and I had a sense that um, that we were getting very close to the end. Overnight, Dr. Mike Savilla went to check on his dad, where he found him not breathing. Afterwards, informing his own family his dad has passed. Six months later, he's still learning to let go of some certain thoughts. Is there something that I could have done to to prevent this? Is there something in my medical training that could have helped me have him still around? In Salem, Jacob Thompson, WKBN 27 First News. Jacob also asked Dr. Sevilla about medical advice when it comes to brain cancer. You can head over to WKBN.com to watch what he shared.